good evening to everyone and welcome to today's session the day 2 of our wonderful evenings with all of you 10000 minutes which is 150 hours to revise 20000 bullets for the preparation of the neat pg thanks for once more sharing a wonderful evening and um, i am very happy to see dr kumar and um, 42 42 more uh, who are online today we will discuss two very hot topics and uh, we will have a 120 image based quiz during the quiz i want all of you to punch your answers and uh, see how good you are the whole purpose of the next 2 hours is to get charged and get ready to become better read the whole night and uh, come back tomorrow with uh, added up energy jungchari kunjit joshi anup kumar satya naik pradeep bhat and many more please do come welcome now in the cell death can you please punch whether the voice is loud and clear for all of you can you kindly punch whether the voice is loud and clear for all of you cell death what is the difference between necrosis and apoptosis you all know apoptosis is a programmed cell death whereas necrosis is non programmed cell death in apoptosis there is no inflammation but necrosis there is inflammation but the most crucial thing favoritely asked in the mcqs in the exam is the nucleus is destroyed first in case of necrosis whereas the nucleus is destroyed last in the case of the apoptosis is what you need to remember so what is pyknosis the nucleus turns into blebs karyorexis means the nucleus fragments and karyolysis means the nucleus dissolves now let us take up some bullets about the types of necrosis what is the most common type of necrosis is it coagulative fibrinoid liquefactive what type favorite question of the examiner coagulative is the most common type of necrosis ischemic injury lead to a coagulative necrosis and what is the key feature of coagulative necrosis every tissue has a cellular architecture right so the cellular architecture is still preserved which is the hallmark of the ischemic necrosis so whenever there is any cerebrovascular accident that is a stroke or whenever there is any myocardial infarction it is the coagulative necrosis liquefactive is all about the abscess formation the formation of the pus whenever there is any anaerobic necrosis that is typically liquefactive is what you need to basically remember brain is a very most common location where you get liquefactive but what is important for the neat pg is which organ is the place where you least often found find liquefactive lung you can't find it liquefactive uh necrosis the reason being lung is the place where there is a lot of oxygen it is aerobic liquefactive per se is a anaerobic necrosis is what you have to basically remember now what is hemorrhagic necrosis in all those organs wherever there is a dual blood supply for example if you look at the gut you have a portal circulation you have a systemic circulation Similarly, lung. Lung, you are having a systemic circulation through pulmonary vessels and a bronchial circulation. Then, similarly, in the case of the brain or in the liver, in all these scenarios where dual blood supply is there, you have a hemorrhagic necrosis. And whenever hemorrhagic necrosis is there, you call them as the red infarcts, as all of you know very well. Now, what are the bullets about the fibrinous necrosis? whenever any collagen vascular disease is there or if there is any renal failure 
there you find typically a fibrin deposition leading to a fibrinous necrosis is what you have to basically remember. Then fat necrosis. Fat necrosis. Typically in pancreas, you have a lot of lipases and they lead to the injury. So you find fatty necrosis. Caseous necrosis. All of you know very well, TB is the one. Purulent necrosis, bacterial granular matter necrosis is whenever non-bacterially lot of T-cell infiltration is there, then there is a formation of a granuloma which is called the granulation necrosis. Now the nasty numerical question in the NEET PG. When the NEET PG was announced few years back, everyone thought there will be something a very great exam like USMLE and all. But ultimately, examiner has shown that it is once more a glorified all, all India PG entrance only. Uh, only thing is one single exam, right? So, irreversible cell damage. When will it happen in the brain? It takes 20 minutes in brain. That's the reason whenever you are doing CPR, no, at least you should continue CPR for 20 minutes. And in all other organs, it is 6 hours. So that is the reason whenever you are doing thrombolysis for the myocardial infarction, tissue plasminogen activated, ideally what is the golden period doctor? It is 6 hours is what you need to remember. Now let us talk about irreversible cellular death. What are the important features? One of the favorite MCQ in the NEED PG is what is the first sign of irreversible cell injury? Is it the lysosomal damage, mitochondrial damage, nuclear damage? What is it going to be your answer? Nuclear damage. The second sign is the lysosomal damage. And the third sign of the irreversible cell injury will be the mitochondrial damage. That's what you need to remember. Do you know what is meant by eye cell disease? One of the favorite questions of the examiner. There are mannose-6-phosphate molecules which are added to the lysosomal proteins. Suppose if there is any failure in this addition of the mannose-6-phosphate, then that lead to the accumulation of it in the form of inclusion bodies, which is typically called the eye cell disease is what you need to basically remember. I love you, sir, says Kenam Shah. As teacher, we also love you. We all were in the same stage like you once upon a time, sitting, thinking, what is life? But ultimately, on the day when you become the top 10 rankers, it is a unforgettable moment. But remember one thing, doctor. Before you go to exam only, you will be knowing that you are going to win. There are hardly about 650 topics. If you give your full heart and soul to that, you know that you are going to win even before going to the war. That's the reason. How do you know that? Play quizzes on the UMedico app, all 650 topics. Try to score in every quiz, in every topic, at least 8 out of 10 score. The moment you are able to do it in all 650 topics that day, even if you leave your brain in the home also, your spinal cord can become the winner and the topper. This exam called NEED PG or Indian Entrance Medical, PG Medical Entrance does not require really brains. It requires smartness, knowing what to read, Carefully hold a lot of things on your plate and then go to the exam. 